guys. Here we are again, another day, another video. Um, this one here, I'm gonna show you guys a little thing I come up with to help, uh, just a little extra money here and there. I like little side hustles. Um, you know I'm building that smoker. It's actually in my garage right now. I'm gonna cut the center, uh, the end caps off for it this weekend, get those welded up, get everything welded on, and um, then start my door next week. So I'm gonna be moving, getting quite a bit of progress going on that. Um, but if you can find these old Oklahoma Joe smokers for under a hundred bucks, and you want to put a little bit of work into them, I guarantee you can make some money off of them. Um, this one here I got for 60 bucks on Marketplace. It has some rust on it. It's got some issues going on, but it's I've already done some light sanding on it with my wheel just to kind of see how what it looks like. And that all that is is surface rust. It looks like shit because the paint's crap, uh, crumbled on it. But you get that stuff off there, and you're going to have a nice new metal finish. Go around with some high heat primer, high heat black paint. Um, paint whatever color you want actually. I might even do the whole thing red, like Chief's red, my truck red, and then paint all the handles and everything black. I don't know yet. We're gonna see what's happening, but I guarantee if you can find these things cheap enough, you can flip these and make some good money. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, kind of show you the process I'm gonna go through as I get this thing ready to go. So not sure like when this one was manufactured or what model it is or anything like that, um, but you can see if you look up close here, it's got some rust on it. Um, all of this is going to come off though, and I'm going to spend some time with my wheel. I already did a little bit of back here, and you can see, get out of this shadow, you can see how easy that's going to come off, and you get right back down to bare metal, and then it's going to be good to go. A little high heat uh, paint or a primer, and then the high heat paint on there, and this thing's going to be good to go. Uh, the only problem I see really is with the dampener here, but I think what I'm going to do is put my own little handle on that hole right there and get that rust kind of loosened up so that dampener will move and then go from there. But um, take these wheels off and get everything straightened up on those and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get those things painted up too. I'm gonna get everything painted. I want it to look like it did when it came off the showroom floor, but the inside of it is pretty good still. It's just gross because it needs to be cleaned up, but all that stuff, all that comes off. I mean, everyone thinks it's, it's like not any good anymore. I'm like, it's seasoned, if anything. Get all that crap cleaned out of, the, out of there, scrape it, get it cleaned out, firebox. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Spend a little time sanding in there, get some paint on it. I'm telling you, this thing's gonna look like brand new when I get done with it. But if you like this type of stuff, suggest you maybe try doing this in your own neighborhood. Do this in your own little hometown. See if you can't make a little extra cash because someone's always trying to find a deal on one of these things because they're not cheap, brand new. But you fix it up yourself, you get it for a cheap price, you can guarantee you can make some money on this stuff. So I had a little change of plans as I was knocking this rust off. I just started noticing how nice it was looking through the patina type look. So what I ended up doing was just spraying it down with canola oil and getting that firebox nice and hot. You can see all that rust comes right off. Let me go ahead and give it a quick wipe down, kind of see what it looks like. I mean, I might just, I might just scuff this whole thing up and give it a patina look. I'm not sure. That's what my, the smoker I'm building, that's what it's going to look like. I think you give it a patina look, it might look pretty cool. You can get, get some more of this marking, like the bare metal on there, and then uh, give it more of a pattern, kind of clean it up. I got a different wheel on there I could use that I've been using on mine and get knock all this rust off and get where there's like that and then just seal it up real good. Get a hot fire, put some canola oil in there. I think it might look pretty cool. I'm going to see what it looks like. It, we'll see. <laughs> Next step. So as you can see, there's like mold and all kinds of shit. So this thing ain't been used in a long time, but I'm in here scraping it. I got my mask on. I'm going to get all that crap out of here. You can see that nasty shit growing. So Scrape it and get it all out of here. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna patina this one because the, the body looks pretty good. The only part that's really not, um, that had the most surface rust was really just the firebox, but I got it all cleaned up too. So I'll show you all what it looks like here in a little bit. So I got it all cleaned out, got everything scraped in there. I'm just gonna burn off all the crap that's on these grates. I'm gonna get this chiminea thrown into this firebox here, burn off all that nasty shit that's on there too get it super hot and put those four logs in there with it get everything hot 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 and then all i got was these two cans of canola oil spray sorry i just bought two of these and i've got an extra one in the house if i need it but those should do it that's what i did on that one in the backyard and it seemed to turn out pretty good it's seasoned up and you see water hit it it just bounces right off so um i will be getting this thing super hot and then we will go from there. So as you can see the color on it now, that's what it looks like now. It looks pretty faded, like no one's ever seasoned it since it's been bought. It's kind of funny, you have the original thermometer on here and you go over to this one and 
it's a trigger. So they just wanted a second one. They obviously didn't care what it was. So this chimney is looking good. It's about ready to dump in there. And then we'll put them logs right on and let it heat up, go eat some breakfast, and then come back out here and then start, start spraying. All right, this thing is, this one <laughs> doesn't even work. So that sucks. This one here is showing 550-ish. So pretty hot fire. <clears throat> you can see the color change already and how much nicer the firebox looks when it's all sealed up. Looking real good in the sun. And then over here you can see paint looks brand new already and all I'm doing is it's only been burning for maybe 30 minutes sprayed the legs down too I'll probably I don't know I thought about taking them wheels off and just sanding them down we'll see but anyway looking pretty good it's gonna it sucks what I'll probably end up doing is going to buy some cheap thermometers that match and just throw them on here that's it's maybe I'll, I'll get my money back out of it for sure but I don't want someone to buy this thing and have to worry about that this one here seems to work pretty good though but I'm gonna let it go for about an hour Hopefully it looks awesome when it's done. All right, so after working on this thing for maybe 25, 30 minutes with the wheel, get the wire brush out and hit all those spots that are kind of hard to hit and decided to just go ahead and get it wiped down really good afterwards and just uh, get it hot and fire. The fire was rocking at about 550. It's calmed down a little bit to about 450 now and just sprayed the whole thing down with canola oil. The, that cheap canola oil always saved is like $1.69 a piece. Um, got it all wiped down, looking clean, and the paint just looks like it did when it was brand new. And you could tell the difference in the color alone just from when I got uh, when I initially started with it. So even the bottom rack and the legs, everything looks awesome. So I'm gonna get this thing posted on Marketplace and Craigslist and see if I can't see what, what I can't get out of it. I'll let you guys know what I end up getting out of it. But I'm gonna get, show you a little bit uh, up close on how much better it looks when you just get it hot and spray it down if you get it all cleaned up. You get up on there and look close you can see it just looks like it's all sealed up now um this thermometer like i said wasn't working so that sucks so what i'm not doing is just buying a new one they're pretty cheap up at walmart and home depot kind of got the patina look on the on the box where i got a lot of that rust off this whole back area though if you remember this back area it was super rusty <clears throat> and that thing is white hot right now but it'll calm down and once it calms down and i watch that temperature drop to about 200 I'm gonna spray some more oil on there. You can see this back area right here is not the hottest, but you can tell it's still soaking in. So it really changes the color, really seals it up to the elements. That one I have in the backyard right now that I got from my buddy, um, did the same thing to it, and it just looks brand new, and the thing works awesome too. That one back there though is a lot older than this. Um, same tag on it with a serial number and everything, but that one back there, the door, like I said, it is just so much heavier duty. Um, this might be eighth inch steel. It's not the best, but you know, somebody who just wants to have something for the backyard and try something for the first time, this will be the way to go. So if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Much appreciated. I'm getting close to those, those markers you need in that first year. I need 4,000 hours watched and a thousand subs. So if you don't even, that's what you sub, sub for me. Appreciate it. Peace. So good news. Conclusion to this video is I sold that smoker. I listed it for 200 bucks. Um, buddy of mine said he wanted it, so I went ahead and gave him a discount. Just didn't even ask for it, but I gave it to him. Um, went ahead and sold it for 180 bucks. So I was out 60 to buy the smoker, about an hour and a half, two hours worth of work on it, maybe about an hour and a half, um, and like a little bit of charcoal, and I put four logs in there. So I burned it in for him, got it all seasoned back up, and now this smoker is going to live on for another five to ten years, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe take care of it, get a cover for it, and it'll last a long time. So quick easy way to flip it make about another 120 bucks off it um pretty cool little way to make extra cash so if you're interested in doing stuff like that like subscribe and i got more to come thanks